Alright, we're going to move to my, to my next subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, like and comment. I greet you all with time of blessings. Today, I want to show you the secrets of finding the squares of numbers. Method 1, I'll show you. I'll say my other secrets. Which method 2? I have so many secrets, but I'll show you just part 1. Method 1, for finding the squares of numbers. I can show you part 2 in my next video. This is part 1. Now, by my discovery, I find out that I found out that uh, n squared is n minus 1 square plus 2n minus 1. Or I can write it as n squared is n minus 1 squared plus n plus n minus 1. Examples. We are n, you must understand that n, we are n and n minus 1 are numbers, be it whole numbers or not. Be it whole numbers or not. Or this much. Preferably whole numbers. Examples. 3 squared, let's start with 1 squared. 1 squared, here is not n, is 1 minus 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 1. Or I can still say that 1 squared is 1 minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 minus 1. So let's check it here. You can see that n is 1. So if you check this one, 1 minus 1 is 1, 0. This is now 2 minus 1. Or this is a, you can say this one is 1, 0 squared plus 1 because here is already 0. So if you check it out, 0 squared is 0, 2 minus 1 is what? 1. Or 0 squared is 0, then plus 1. So the answer to both cases is 1. Now, second, another example, maybe. You, we all know that 13 squared is 169. I want to get 14 squared now. So I'll say 14 squares. Uh, n here is now 14. So n minus 1 will be 13. So I'll say it's 13 squared plus 2 times 14 minus 1. That is 169 plus 28 minus 1. Or you can say this one. 14 squared is. Um, 13 squared plus 14 plus 13. So this one, 169 plus 27. That is 196. If you add it, likewise here, this is also 196. Because here and here, we also give that to 7. You are looking for, let's say, you are looking for 51 squared. Now, 50 squared. That is now 50 squared plus 2 times 51, then minus 1. 2 times 500. How do I know this is 2 times 500? Now, we are probably this is 5 squared is 25. 0 squared is 0, 0. 0 raised to the power n. 0 raised to the power n. Once that is k 0, we are telling it is a number. It is. K is K raised power n multiplied by 0 raised power that n. So if I have 30 raised power 6 now, I just say this is now 3 raised power 6 by 0 raised power 6. That, now, that is 0 into number of 6, into 6 places. So 3 raised power 6 is, is nothing but uh, 729. There were 6 zeros. So I'll write between 6 zeros. So that is the secret behind 30 squared being 900 because 3 squared is 9, then we put it to zeros. 40 squared being 1,000 because 4 squared is 16, we put zero. So 50 raised to power 3 now, 50 raised to power 5 raised to power is 1 to 5, how many zeros? 0, 0, 0. So if I have now 60 raised to power, 600 now raised to power 3, I'll just say 6 raised to power 3, 6 raised to power is 2, 1, 6. And I'm putting two zeros into three places. Two zeros, two times, two zeros times 
2 times 3 is 6, so I'm posting zeros. So if I have 4,000 all is power 3, no problem. 4 is power 3, okay, 4 times all is power 4. 4 is power 4 is 2, 5, 6, okay? Then there are 3 zeros here, you multiply by 4, that is 12, so you put 12 zeros. Calculate one. Calculation. <laughs> so back to the question, this is now 2500 plus 1 over 2 minus 1. That's now 2500 plus 101. That is 2601. Or you put this way 51 squared is 50 squared plus 50 plus 51. That is 2500 plus 101. That is give you 2601. That's what I suppose. That is the secret of finding squares. This case, this is part one. Remember, I'm dealing with power of squares. By the time I finish dealing with squares, if you see squares, you just trash it. This is just part one. So that is the secret of finding squares. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, question with Mark. See you in my next video. Thank you.